Hey YouTube, Sweet Knives here. Today we got flashlights and you are not going to believe what recently has uh, happened. The fourth generation Roe V Vaughn A3 Pro has arrived and this is what it looks like right here and I do have version 3 um, right here just so I can show you guys some of the differences and the reason I'm showing you this one um, today is I really truly believe for the size that this is, this is one of the very best flashlights that you can buy. There are some other brands um, that are very, very good. This is one of the ones that should be right up there at the top of the list. And so this is actually the fourth generation uh, right here. And I am going to uh, bust it out of the package here. And I'm going to show you a little bit about it. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the features. I'm going to pull this one out too. And uh, I just want to show you guys what some of the differences are of uh, the fourth gen and the third gen generation. So on the right hand side, you can see you can see one of the big changes uh, right away. The big button on the fourth generation. And this is really nice. Like I, I got to admit, like you just press press and hold and you get that momentary on just like before you know you press and hold and you get that with that one but this button has much better feedback than this one so right off the bat that's a huge bonus another huge bonus uh, you'll see up close is the way they designed this USB um, port uh, both the type of port so the old one used micro uh, USB uh, this one uses USB-C, which USB-C, um, it, it, I don't think it really actually charges a lot faster, but the port is designed so that you can put the cable in um, either front or back. I'll give you a, um, a look at the actual, uh, this is um, what a USB-C cable looks like. It doesn't matter. You can put it in like that or like that. So that's a huge advantage. And then also this little plastic cover allows, uh, allows it to stay um, better. Now one of the other cool things is the way that it, the charging indicator works. So if I, if I plug this in, let's see if I can get this to, uh, let's see if I can get this to go real quick. I'll show you what the, what the charging um, indicator looks like. So you can see right there, you get a nice blue light. On the old one, the charging indicator was built into this and it would just blink blue. This one is blue, green, and red. So it's a much better um, charging uh, mechanism. Uh, the other thing that they say is that the new one has a 7000K LED. So if you look at the actual LED, I got the new one on the right. If we actually look at that up close, you can see the big difference right away is the smooth reflector. This allows for a little bit better throw. I wouldn't say like a ton, but a little bit better throw versus the orange peel. And um, uh, what else can I tell you about it? Another thing uh, for those of you is the way that this back part was designed. See those little holes? You can actually put tritium vials in there. Uh, that's a little spot. So tritium is a glow, a uh, nuclear uh, material that can glow uh, forever, basically. Well, you'll get at least 20, 30 years of glowing out of tritium. Um, it's very expensive, but uh, green usually shows up the best. Um, so you want to get high quality green tritium, and that'll glow forever, basically forever. Now, one of the things that you may not know right off the bat, and, and we'll get into the operation of these in just a second, um, but I wanted to point out a couple things. With the old one, they just give you a regular clip. There's nothing special um, about that clip at all. Nothing at all. This one is actually um, magnetized. So a huge, huge benefit uh, to this clip because anything anything that you use you can attach the light to so I'll show you what I'm talking about I'll put this on and then I'll uh, and then I'll demonstrate um, What I'm saying so here you go now we got the clip on and you can attach this to literally anything that's anything that's metal um, so This is just what I got right in front of me 
Um, you see that? That's a really nice feature. Now you can turn the knife on and, or <laughs> not turn the knife on, you can turn the, the flashlight on just by double clicking and you have something there that's magnetic. So that's a huge advantage. This one, the old one, you don't have that. You don't have that ability. Um, the other cool thing that they include, let me turn that off. The other thing that they include in this new package, if you open this up and you look here, inside of here, uh, they actually include two key rings. They include another uh, rubber uh, piece for that USB cover. And then there's another, other, another little piece that you may be wondering, what in the world is this? This is another magnetic piece for the back. The old one doesn't include this. Uh, so let me show you how this works. You just, you basically just push that on, um, just like so. And now you have a light that can actually, um, let me open this back up. This isn't the best example, but, uh, you see here, now you have a magnetic part on both sides, on the side of the clip and, and on that. Now that's a powerful magnet to be able to hold that, super powerful. Um, so very, very neat idea uh, that Roe v. Vaughn um, is coming up with. I really like that they're uh, coming up with this stuff. Now, another third feature that I really like about these lights, and this is something that the old one had, it's made out of the 7075 aerospace aluminum. So this is really high quality stuff. In fact, if you take like you take like a metal object, like a something like this, and you try to scratch it. Now, if you push really hard or you engrave stuff, you would be able to um, scratch this. But generally, look at that. There's no scratches, and I'm pushing. I'm actually pushing on there. Now, if that was aluminum or basically any other material, um, cheaper aluminum, uh, not anodized hard like this, it would scratch. So this is really nice because if you have this in your pocket, it's not going to scratch as easily. Um, and then the last major thing that I really like about this uh, light that the same that the first one had is it's one of the brightest lights for its size. Now, it's hard to get an idea of just how small this is, but I want to try to show you. This here is a uh, a double A battery, I and mean, that's just a standard double A. So it's a hair bigger, just a hair bigger than a double A battery. Yet, and this is just a regular Sharpie, just so you can get an idea of how how small it is. That's a regular Sharpie. Now, this light puts out 750 lumens right away. So when I press that and hold it, 750. Now it starts going down, um, you know, and I'll get some night shots later and show you guys what it looks like at night, but it starts going down pretty quickly. Um, after about one minute of runtime, this heats up quite a bit and it shoots down to about 100 lumens. And you get about 100 lumens for approximately an hour and 10 minutes, approximately, um, which is a lot of time. Now, if you don't use it all the time, every time you press that, you're going to get that 700 uh, lumens and it probably goes down to like 500 um, within the first minute. And then it slowly uh, goes down even a lot quicker to 100. But for the first minute or so, you're getting uh, a bright 700 lumens. And it's a this one actually throws pretty good. You know, um, it actually throws pretty good. Now, one of the cool things about this is this paperwork here actually shows all of the specs on this light. So this gets into, you know, every single thing that there is about it. Talks about the size, the weight, 24 grams. I mean, this is literally one of the lightest, um, one of the lightest ones that you'll ever use. One thing to note here, I do want to point this out. They have two versions. They have this one here, which is the high output version where you get the 700 lumens but you sacrifice the color rendering index which this one is 70 and if you went with the high cri version of the light you'd get 90 um, cri and what does that mean it means uh, you get better um, color 
rendering with the higher one. So if you have a choice to get one, I would recommend going sacrifice a little bit of those high lumens. Um, it's not much. I mean, maybe like 100 lumens or 150 to begin with, but you'll get much better color with this neutral white. So if you have a choice, get the neutral white, the 90 CRI. Uh, that's my personal preference. Um, what else can I tell you on here? We've already went through a lot of this stuff already. Um, I'll get into the operation in uh, just a little bit, but I wanted to show this part here. This talks about uh, high, I actually measured mine. I got closer to 750, so they're actually underestimating the lumens here. Um, I got 750 on my tester, which is pretty accurate. Um, and this is accurate, so you get about one minute um, of that 700 and then you get about an hour, little over an hour of runtime. What they don't tell you is that runtime drops, uh, it drops quite a bit. So it even says, it actually says, it'll step down to 80 lumens in one minute when the light is working at medium and high. I measured closer to 100 in my tests. Um, and then you can see the other, um, you know, run times and so forth. And this talks about if you have the, the neutral one. Uh, so yeah, good information uh, within the manual. Uh, that's pretty much it with the manual. Now, one of the other major features of why you should get the Gen 4 over the Gen 3, there was an issue that used to happen with me when I was carrying some of these lights. Every now and then when I was carrying this one, it would pop on in my pocket. And if you double click it, you know, it stays on. And then you can cycle through the various modes. They have a moonlight. They have a low, medium, high. Moonlight, low, medium, high, right? And so if you double click it, double click to get to that, it would stay on in your pocket and there's nothing you could do about it. Now the new one, they came up with an ingenious idea. If you click it fast five times, one, two, three, four, five, it blinks twice, letting you know you've locked the light. So if you hit this button, all it does is just it blinks once or twice just to just to let you know that it's locked. So this is nice because if you press and hold, if you double click, it doesn't matter what you do, it will not stay on in your pocket. Uh, so that's a huge, huge feature of why you would want this particular uh, new version of the light. Um, that's a pretty much all the features, guys. Um, to unlock it, you do it five times fast again. So just one, two, three, four, five. And it's kind of hard um, to get that down, so it does take a little bit of practice. Um, and I should also mention one of the other things is if you double click it, it remembers the mode that you were last in that you used for 90 seconds or longer. So if you double click it and you're in this uh, medium mode and you turn it off, it won't remember that unless you are in that mode for 90 seconds or more. Um, it'll default back to you know what it what, what it last was. Uh, so anyway, that's a little bit about the light. It also, if you triple click it, you get the strobe, or um, I guess yeah, you get the strobe. So if you triple click, you get the strobe. That's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for checking out this awesome light. If you made it this far, please do hit the um, like button, subscribe. I'm gonna put the link in the description to Amazon for this one. Uh, check it out. It's definitely worth every uh, every penny. I really like this one. Um, and these batteries are great. They last a long time. You don't have to, um, you know, it recharges within one hour and then you get a full full set of batteries. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews on Roe Vivans. I got, I got quite a few other ones. This is one of my favorite ones that I think you guys will like too. So thanks a lot and I uh, hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.